Sup, boys and girls. Tweety here. Welcome to another episode of Tweety Plays Terraforma Craft. Uh, I was watching Etho, and he built a uh, sky freezer. And, uh, yeah, I thought I could do the same thing, but I can't do an F3. Let me see the, uh, there's the average bio temperature biome temperature um yeah it doesn't get cold enough where i'm at i'm too far south i'm too too close to the equator if i was uh to move north a little ways it'd be maybe be better but uh you know since i'm up here might as well take a look around look at all this stuff pretty cool there's a tree farm we are at the build limit, by the way, too, so. We've got some stuff going on. Oh, you might notice my sword. And my my almost broken black steel pickaxe. So you know what that means. That's right, I made a bucket. And it's incredible. It's awesome. Uh, let's get down from here. Ah! Ooh, that's kind of scary. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. All right, a little little bit of a butt, butt clincher. So I got these guys in here. I got them some water. Um, I expanded it out because as soon as I placed that thing, they like ate all of the. Uh, of the grass in that area. So I made it a little bit bigger. Add another water source block. I uh, was just messed around. I put a source block up there. You know, did kind of like this river, you know, kind of kind of thing. Goes into a couple pools and falls down. Just messed around because this is the first time I've actually ever gotten to this point and I wanted to celebrate. So we got some um, water source blocks there, uh, infinite stream, I, I should say, and you know what this means, now that I have a red steel bucket that I can transport water source blocks around with, that means mob farm, mm-hmm, um, I'm going with a pretty uh, classic design, I guess. I've used it a lot in the past. <clears throat> I'm going to have uh, four main 16 by 16 pads. And uh, they'll have, well, they'll, there'll be a water channel in the middle, so it'll be uh, a seven by seven with a whoa little lag there. Uh, seven by seven with a two gap um, for a, a stream of water to come out the center in a plus shape, and then from there around that there'll be another tube uh, channel that diverts everything up to this thing. This will be my center right here. And you know, of course this isn't gonna get built this episode. We're not we're not like that. Not gonna build on camera. But I will show you once it's all finished. This is the center of this uh this area. This was my my uh iron mine, iron deposit that I found and yeah I just went ahead and you know went over there and uh, with the prospectors picked and said traces measured in 12 put a fence went over here until it said uh, traces you know and of course I checked a couple spots around there um, until it said traces measured in 12 put a fence same thing on the, these two sides here. And then I just kind of picked the uh, long way 
and uh, started just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Got some ladders in there, and I uh, blocked up any any other places with some fence, just because I have lots of fence now because of all the the uh, sticks that I've been getting. And gosh, that's so cool! <clears throat> I'm so excited. So now we can move mobs around with water. Uh, and so I'm going to have those pads and I'm probably going to do two or three layers of pads. So, uh, seven by seven times four times four times three, something like that. Whatever that adds up to is the, uh, number of spawning spaces that I'll have. And, uh. Probably just going to use thatch because it's it's cheap. It suspends itself. It's easy to get. I mean, I got I've already done some some uh, mowing around the area, getting collecting a lot. I went ahead and made a red steel scythe, red steel pickaxe, red steel sword. Uh, so yeah, everything's great. Everything's grand. And it will be pretty cool once I get it done. I still need to get a blue steel bucket, uh, but to do that, I need to get them. Hold on. I still need to get some uh, bismuth so I can make bismuth bronze because I think I need bismuth bronze to uh, combine in the. In the thing, if anyone wants me to uh, go ahead and do that on camera. Oh, I know what I need to do. Hold on. Turn my clouds back on. <laughs> I was up top there and I was in a cloud and I wanted to start recording. And I'm like, all right, cloud will pass, cloud will pass. Give it some time. And it never passed, so I went ahead and turned the clouds off. Um, but yeah, this is great. I'm super stoked. Um, needless to say, the the collection and or making of this red steel um, stuff is time-consuming and very grindy. And uh, uh, not very pleasant like at all <laughs> um and it's not something that i would really like to show you because it's pretty long process basically you take uh six of these one of those one of those that's a uh, brass rose uh gold uh black steel and then two regular steel and you put it in here and you cook it all up and you make it melt and melt it together and then you uh, get your um, ceramic molds which I should make some more of those uh, make some ceramic molds and then you take those ceramic molds and then you got to heat up because you're making 10 ingots you need to heat up 10 of these and then weld black steel with the weak red steel that comes out of there and then hit it and beat it and until it turns into red steel and then you can actually use it and then this guy the bucket is uh, two red steel ingots uh, weld them together make a sheet and then it gives you the crafting or the uh, the plan blacksmith plan for the uh for the bucket and uh yeah works the same way with the blue steel um i just you know you'd have to make the blue steel and i still need to look that up but uh, apparently everything is from this basically so either red steel or blue steel 
I'm going to need lots and lots and lots of this black black steel. And that means lots and lots of this nickel and the black bronze. Um, luckily, I have plenty of silver. I think that's silver. No, that's... What is this? This is zinc. That's silver, right? Can I have one? There we go. Silver. Gold, yeah. I went steel, gold, silver, uh, copper, bronze, zinc. I was putting my pig iron here. Oh yeah, and the black steel is, is a pain in the butt. That's regular steel, and and this, and the and that, and then you like same kind of thing with the red red bucket. You gotta weld it with the with some pig iron. Oh, so much iron. So very, very much iron. Um, that's all I have left right now. I started in into this other uh, spot by my tree farm. Pretty much doing the same thing as over there. But uh, yeah, I'm not exactly too sure. Uh, I'm basing all, all of this off of vanilla. Minecraft, so I'm not exactly sure if it's going to work out as well as I think or I hope. But um, hopefully, it it works out well. Um, there's definitely going to be plenty of sp spawning area, but um, you know I don't know if the uh, same spawning rules apply. I'm just hoping that's the case. So, uh, mobs will spawn uh, outside of 16 blocks away from the player. So, wherever the player is, 16 blocks in all directions, up, down, all six directions. Um, and uh, in, a, in a radius around the player, I guess, in a big sphere. So, 16 blocks away from the player is where they will spawn, where they start to spawn. Then uh, out to 32 blocks, they will randomly move around. After that, the chances of them moving around are very slim um, to practically nothing, nil. You know, they, there's occasionally they'll one will start walking as soon as he spawns, but that's very rare outside of 32 blocks. And then they'll spawn, uh, they'll keep spawning up to 128 blocks away. Um, so that means lots of cave lighting that I'll have to do. And what else? Um, yeah, just making sure, oh, excuse me, making sure the conditions are, are right for this so um, I believe see that fence post right down there that is 16 blocks away and I'm probably only going to go down to the bottom if, if I need to uh, no endermen I, I'm going to make it uh, two blocks tall I don't want endermen uh, in my spawn area because well they really don't get teleported by or uh, transported by water very well because they start taking damage and then they teleport all over the place. Whew. Then, uh, yeah, then it becomes a big mess. Um, they'll, you know, if they do spawn down there, then they could teleport up here and then there'll be, you know, 30 or 40 of them up here where I don't want them. And uh, that will remove or decrease the amount of spawns that will happen down there. So, that is the plan, um, and that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you, but uh, at least at this point. Um, but let's see, we're going to try to do some stuff, let's do some stuff with redstone, and um, yeah, I want to I check some stuff. 
with water currents and redstone and um, things like that. So let's see. Uh, what else do I want? Do I have... Uh, here we go. I want to make some doors. Uh, oh, there it is. Whoa, a little crazy there. So let's do like two doors, I guess. Oh, they don't stack. That's uncool. All right, let's put this away. Oh yeah, and I'm like out of charcoal. I'm out of coal. I need to go mining for coal again. Uh, but let's see, let's put some glass down. Um, kind of how that's set up. So let's do, let me see. Because I want to have this uh, also as a, um, not only just for loot, but also for um, stuff, right? The good stuff. So let's see, if I put that there, no, that's not right. Let me think. Oh crap. Okay, if I do that, let's let's run a little redstone down here and let's make a lever like that. Okay. Okay, so let's see. I don't think that's going to work out properly. Okay, so we put this here. Bob comes up, I get pushed over to the side, and right into the door. Hmm. might not be able to do this properly. Okay. Let's put this dirt back. And put this one on this side. Break this guy. Okay. Mom falls in, gets pushed over to the side. Killing chamber right here. Lava blade dies, right? I flip a switch. Mom gets pushed over. And then I think what we can do if it still works, I think it still works. I think it'll work. It's not going to be great. And then have the water source block up here. Oh no, that well, that's not going to work, is it? Because there's no way to have water source block here. Err. door is down one. Hmm. Yeah, this might not work out well. Let's let's give this a try. Set something up. Um, 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna need tons of those. So if we put a sign here. Do this little sign on the sign trick. Sign here. And course it's gonna have to be no it doesn't have to be up one Oop. okay and then we do something like this let's just see if we can make it to this tree I think we will be able to think ah uh... But I think this is what I'm going to do. So that's door open. It's door closed. Let's get another water source block. And I believe we can put it there. Yeah. I think that might work. Something like that. Oh, you know what we should do? We should actually test it. We should try it out. Is there any zombies? Do you see any zombies? Oh, first. That's the other thing. We can't have them jumping around. So see if we can get him to fall into there. And then we'll see where he ends up. Either here or over there. And you know what? I'll make it so we can see him. Food. Come on, zombies. Where is you? All I need is one, and then there'll be like thousands of them. Oh. Sometimes uh, I get kind of annoyed by the smart moving. Hey, hey you, what are you doing up there? Yeah, yeah, I kind of get annoyed by the smart moving sometimes, just because it's... Um, has the uh, the energy kind of thing, and I have it on medium, so I can really only do like two jumps. Oh, I don't want you though. I got this. Yes. Oh. Yep. Come on, everybody. That should get them all. Ooh, there's one trying to sneak up on me. Oh, look at all of them. Oh, there's a baby. I hears a baby. They still coming? Yeah. Keep it coming. Keep coming, guys. We got this. And we'll use our smart moving to climb up here. Into the pool. Oh! Oop. Shoot!
Well, I think it's working. Look at him. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, he's suffocating. Alright, we need to dig this down a bit. That and... Oh, one's going to sneak up on me. I just know it. Oh, move. There we go. more. Oh. Aw. Well, what, five out of... Oh, that was because they were all filled up, too. So, that might be different. No more? I don't see any more. But it looks like it worked. Oh, he got me. Jerk. All right, let's... Let's see. Yeah, that worked out well. They're dizzy. Yeah. That's all right. So that's going to funnel... The, uh... the two tall mobs and I will probably also funnel the uh, spiders off to a different area when I do that. Well, I'll probably just do it anyway. Spiders will go off somewhere else and they'll die some, some other way. But um, I think that's going to be it for this episode. So like it if you like it, dislike if you didn't like it. Uh, let me know what you liked or didn't like it about it in the comments. Um, Maybe uh, suggestions or anything. I'm open. But uh, yeah, I think that's it's going to be. Mob Farm is probably going to look pretty much like my um, my old single player map, season two or whatever it was. And that that general general shape I have a uh, probably come off actually I'm probably gonna lower that it'll come off this way go up and then come back and then that's where that's where they will die and then uh, it'll also you know divert them off to the side and hopefully the uh, fall damage is also the same so they can fall 23 blocks and then they're just down to, you know, me punching them, or maybe I can hit them with the, you know, um, a stone axe real, you know, and kill them real easily. But, uh, yeah, so that's going to be it. We'll see you next time. Uh, but until then, I'm out of here.